Huh. What is this, a Quentin Tarantino movie, man? Uh, God, did you hear that him and Uma Thurman got together? That was rather unusual, and I don't see how they could have gotten into this pose while having been in that position when shooting, but that was kind of interesting. That has no relevance on anything whatsoever, or does it? But the strange noise here indicates we need to look inside of a strange box for a familiar face that we did not see quite yet. This is the only mission where two Susie heads will actually appear with the ring. Why, hello there. Oh, I missed you. How did you end up down here? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Oh, oh okay, that, that's true, I guess. Slash into pieces, that's, yeah. Yes, you're falling to pieces, Velvet Revolver style, man. <sighs> but you didn't overdose, so that's a good, that's a plus. Oh, I just had the shivers, man. Poor Susie Sue. Oh. Okay, that escalated a little bit. Uh, <laughs> Daddy long legs. Oh. Hmm. Well, thank you, I guess, for the wind ring of all things to have. It's a wind ring, you guys. So happy. Oh. Extending his hand for a gentle caress. Okay, that actually kind of makes sense now, but that is very odd. Anyway, let's go and equip our newly acquired wind ring. Again, something else we'll rarely need to use. Simply a means towards an end. Hey, Travis, how's it going? What is it? Was spit? Is that or it's something? All according to plan. I'm sure. Aren't you proud of yourself, Mr. Bell? Uh, uh, but straight up, it doesn't add up. Yeah, Travis is like a straight up American. <laughs> Why don't, why, yeah, why not? Why do they let them live? Somebody is pulling some strings. Fukushima adherent. Kinjiro Matsuka was the guy who got touched by Kunlan. Or whatever it is, Matsuken. Can I pick up Fukushima? Perhaps, unless we have something to say about it. So we're basically against Japan in this game, which is kind of weird. But let's go head off into the control panel. But that's, that's simply a front, alright? So the first time I played this, I completely missed that odd engraving for some reason, but instead of uh, going from the fourth floor in the basement, we can now go from the basement to the top floor. Very nice. So, let's go get out of here. Heaven Smiles are going to have spawned by the time we got out of here, which is kind of unfortunate. So we're going to have to be careful, because I think one of them might be a poison smile. <laughs> and there will be some crawlers. <laughs> right, he's walking towards us, I can hear him. It's close. Way too close. Hey, how's it going? Give me a headshot. Give me critical. Can you give me something? Fuck me. This this game, I swear to God, I might just have to tank it. Thank you. Never mind. No tanking required. Alright, alright. Let's be a little careful. There's gonna be some crawlers. Alright, there they are. Okay. Let's aim for them. We can't destroy any more of the ceiling, unfortunately. Thank you. <laughs> Come on. Nothing. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being way too careful in this playthrough, which, I don't know. In other difficulties, it's really easy to just kind of run through and just kill things. Like, I was practicing this, and I literally was able to run through this level in, like, 20 minutes just by, just with Dan. Oh, God, there's two of them. There's fucking two of them. Okay, thank God. Yeah! Double! Or nothing! I think that was the fastest I've ever gotten that. I don't, two guys normally don't spawn there. Which is why I'm being a little careful, because typically, <laughs> you're going to be careful. So here's the ghost of DePaul. Jean DePaul. And now he talks like this. He killed himself. Why? Why? Hmm. 
doesn't it remind everyone of their childhood? Was it pro wrestling or amateur? But apparently loved Mask the Smith. My name is not Mask. Professional wrestling. Uh, vale duro. Uh. Alright, so Mitsuken has the Yakuma, which is not good considering he has been touched by the hand of God, quote unquote. And, uh, yeah, the war won't end until you kill him. Hmm. When you finally meet Matsuken, this all can end. Alright. But wait, hold on. Never mind, I guess we can just go over here. Oh, it's the ghost person again! I forgot you were gonna be here. Make the world a place with no bad people. Cool. Oh, okay, that's that's one way to do it. Uh, a bit of an extreme, if you ask me, but... Thank you, little ghost boy. I, I appreciate your honesty, I guess. We'll keep that in mind for future polls. Uh, Jesus, he's like snarling, too. <laughs> Alright, so you have to smash his brains to finally kill him for good. He's basically telling us, And big old man, your tie is crooked. So that's that's basically a vague hint telling us how to beat the boss in this area, which is um, I believe his name was Hiroshi, no Hiroyashi uh, Kurahashi and Shinya Akiba. So that's kind of a cool little thing. So now we're heading off to the roof, to the roof and underground. Now there's going to be a couple of jumpers here, which is kind of unfortunate, but luckily we are indeed Mr. Mr. Smith here. All right, thank you. Now there's going to be another one in front of him. So I'm going to go ahead and run past. Yep, never mind. They just decided to come at the same time. I'm just gonna have to get rid of them. Alright, there we go. I don't care that I'm not getting blood out of those for any reason. But there's gonna be a micro smile. You can kind of see him over there. There we go. Look at how much blood we'll get from this. I think we'll get like 60 or something. Like just a straight up like desolator. Didn't even show us, but close enough. Alright. Now, there's going to be Travis over there in the Harmon room, and I would very much like to save before we fight. I'm sorry my saves are not exactly coinciding with when I'm ending the videos, but that's simply because they're very inconsistent here. Oh, Jesus. Fuck, I didn't mean to spawn. Didn't mean... All right. Thank you. I don't even care that I'm not getting blood. Oh, fuck. Ugh. All right, Iwazaru, what do you want? Master! Ugh. Too many are spawning there. Uh, where are you hanging from, man? Uh, you can't lie. The homeland is out of control. You kids are gonna have to serve yourself because I'm simply out of control. Alright. I'm not frightened. Not anymore. Hmm. What makes a unit? I guess so, probably. Especially if you cut them up. Oh. The name of Harmon, indeed. Now, someone spawned right behind me. I'm not really looking forward to that. Thank you. Now, let's go run over here. Actually, I want to check something real fast. Let's go run. Is there Travis? It is Travis! Okay, I don't typically go over here. Don't jump! You have a life to live! You're wearing a shirt that says rainbow on it! You don't want people seeing you dead like that. Huh. The UN Party headquarters is right over there. Yeah, it's literally under the tarp. And can you guys believe what we used to get rid of this tarp? Incarnation of greed, of course. Slow foxes. Oh man, I can kind of see that my record or my recording, my download for Mario Kart 8 isn't exactly close to being finished, but that's not a bad thing, I guess, because uh, we're almost done here. All right, should I save? I probably should save, just to be on the safe side. We're gonna have to be Cade for this fight, which isn't a bad thing because Cade literally will make this extremely easy for us. So I say we put some of our uh, upgrades into putting her waiver to good use because that's something we're gonna need. Actually, I should probably just upgrade her, probably just to two across every platform at the very least, and uh, call it good there. And are we gonna run out of? blood to be turned into serum air because we did get kind of a lot of thick blood even though I wasn't exactly trying I might have to come back to this a little bit later and just accrue some more my own coalition and all right so unfortunately oh we did get a third one okay nice all right Shock it. all right so let's get our power up there we go down attack which is good counter attack which is even better 
All right, then now that that's done, we'll put the waiver up, and that's probably good for Cade for the rest of the game, just so that Maybe. she's very, you know, very safe. Now let's see. Now let's go upgrade Khan. I'm sorry if it annoys you that I don't use all of my serums at once. I just like to save them. So power isn't really relevant. We'll save the rest for later. All right, now I'll switch, I'll switch to Cade in the fight. Ugh. And I'm sure this is already probably the fourth video you guys are seeing in terms of this level. I think each level will probably take four videos, as it seems. And it just kind of depends on the length a little bit, so... Ah, are you guys ready to fight the fight against the good man, the evil man? Well, we got to get over there first, probably, you know, absorb a hit or two before we head over there, even though I'll probably die. All right, so let's be careful. Don't spawn three of them. Or spawn zero of them. Hold on. Thank you. Thank you for spawning him. Oh, wait. Just the one guy? Okay. You changing up your spawns all over the place, Suda51? How dare you? Alright. Where? Okay, he's behind me. Alright, let's get let's get this tarp out of the way. Meeting room. The Wind Ring House. See, this is one of the few instances where it seems Hal is a very appropriate adverb or something. Is it an adverb? It's... It's an action, so maybe it's just a verb. I don't know. But with that, ladies and gentlemen, here we are on the fight against Kurahashi and Akiba. This country is big. It's too big. Our voices will never be heard. <laughs> you really think you're better than us because we're old men? You're not getting out of here alive. Mm. Japan's not going down just yet. Not without a fight. <laughs> we'll show him, right, partner? Uh, not a fan of this. So, like I said, we're going to have to be Cade for this bit, and what's kind of annoying is that they're going to be throwing projectiles of their brains at us the entire time, and the thing that makes that annoying is that every time he coughs, is, is his dead giveaway is going to do that, but you're going to make sure not to shoot them yet, because you need to shoot the tie off the one on the right side there. Now, a good way to avoid these very slow-moving projectiles is to wait at the corner of the table until they get near you, and once they do that, oh, they're shooting more, uh, you can just go switch sides over there, but they're apparently shooting a lot more. Now, shoot his tie, and now this guy will turn to uh, help fix it in just a moment, and you just have to shoot his brain while he's doing that, and then hopefully... You can just move across here before they actually hit you. So that's nice. Because they do home in on you. Now he's going to shoot his other one here in just a moment. But he's also going to fix his tie. And this is basically how you have to do this fight. Alright, cool. So it's it's typically a good idea just to be facing the other direction here every so often. This isn't the first time we've shot with Kate, is it? No, I don't think so. I'm going to go do this. I don't know how much these do on, on Killer 8 difficulty. But still, it would probably be a good idea not to get hit by them. Alright, it's taking a little... Okay, shit, I might have missed my chance there. This is why you want your waiver, so that you can just, you know, go very quickly towards it. Now, you can also avoid these by going into this part of the room, which is good for us. Now, the next fight we're going to have to do, our next phase... Ouch! Never mind, apparently they still can. You have to shoot all of them but one, and uh, he'll be like... He'll do something. I don't remember what he'll do. He'll do that, and you have to shoot the back of his head, which is really weird. I'm going to do another shot there. These also, if they hit you in quick succession, you can probably take down your health pretty quick there. So let's get one, two. I said two. Thank you. Three. No. All right, fine. We'll get this one. And this one. Fuck. Okay, I'm going to have to reload for this one. Oh, shit. Run. Ugh. Okay, messed up on that. But it'll still do that, apparently. Fuck. It's such a small window, and you can't hit, like, when he sneezes, you can't hit that. It's it's a very wonky window of opportunity. So he shoots five out. Oh, fuck. Okay. Thank you. Now, okay, one more shot, maybe? Yeah, they'll take three each every single time. Whoop! All right, that was a close one. And this is basically the entire fight, so it's not, it's clearly not very difficult compared to the uh, other difficulty. All right, is that it? All right. And ladies and gentlemen, there we go. We have defeated the two men.
Oh, great. Another transition scene. Are you guys really surprised at this point? Uh, off to Washington we go! Back to Seattle. What can you do when the whole world has its eyes on you? Almost everything. Destroying one or two nations? <laughs> it's an easy task here. The promise made 30 years ago wasn't a guarantee. It was only the beginning of a countdown. Look at them. They're heading toward hell. What's sad is that we've gotten used to this. I mean, our senses. That's pathetic. That doesn't necessarily mean that we're not human. Okay, now you're not helping. Ha, 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 ha. 